what triple a games should abandon last gen in your eyes i think it's hard to say because playstation 5's next gen is not easy to acquire we're not in a situation where everyone can just like get those systems so it's kind of hard to say man i don't know i mean we've seen what is what is one of the only what what is one of the only games that have come out on ps5 that is like ps5 only it's like returnal demon souls is that it is there anything else returnal and demon souls ratchet yeah ratchet and clank thank you and all i mean returnal doesn't do anything super crazy but demon souls and ratchet and clank definitely have some like yo this is next gen as fuck miles morales no i think miles morales was available on playstation 4 was it not i'm pretty sure that was a ps4 game horizon no 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 horizon's on ps4 no 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 if there's a PS4 version chat, those are not exclusively next-gen games. They're not fully taking advantage of next-gen. They're not. Yeah, Miles Morales and Horizon, those are PS4 games. Um. Hmm. Yeah, it's pretty much rat. The two big ones? Returnal's cool. Like, a lot of the particle stuff that Returnal does is cool. But it's not super next-gen-y, right? It's not. I, I feel like it's the two ones that stand out for sure are Ratchet and Demon Souls. Those games through and through are are just like this is next gen as shit. Look at any part of like Demon Souls and you're like, fuck, man. Look how fast like the loading is, look at the particle effects, look at like the lighting, look at the, how many polys are pumped into every is like, damn. This is crazy. Yeah, FF7 doesn't count. Because it's, uh, it was DLC, you know? Yeah, I, I think those are the two big ones right now. You think Return will come to PC? I hope it does. I hope it does. Yeah, Demon's Souls still looks... I mean, we're, we're in a weird situation where this game exists now, right? And it doesn't even hold a candle... Like, I, I mean, I really like this game. And this game is the perfect example that, like, its visuals are good. It's, it's quite a good-looking game. But it doesn't even hold a candle to how good Demon's Souls looks on PS5. I'm just going to be honest, and I don't... I mean, I have eyes, right? <laughs> we all have eyes, right, chat? Uh, Demon's Souls is crazy. Crazy good-looking game. This is a... I feel like this game does atmosphere. It's a 13-year-old engine. I know. I mean... But here... That's... And that's the problem. That is 100% the problem. Is that... FromSoft, as developers, have never been... Super prowess for their technological... Uh, ongoings. Right? Their... Their tech side has never been good. Uh, their PC... Their PC ports always having issues is, is like a great example of that. So, does it need to look better? Well, I mean, Demon Souls is like a year and a half old. Not, almost getting there. Almost to be like a year and a half old at this point. And it, and it makes this game look like a, a generation or two older. And this isn't a bad looking game, but that's a testament to how good Demon Souls looks. Demon Souls looks fucking crazy, dude. Still to this day, it looks crazy. I, I watched somebody playing Demon Souls just on Twitch, and I was blown away that it looked so goddamn good. Just on a visual level. It's really nuts. So, all I'm saying, all I'm saying personally, because Demon Souls was kind of like, we'll, we'll, let, we'll let FromSoft boss and level design sort of carry the game. And then we'll just give it our visual polish, you know? We'll just we'll just add all these new animations and all this kind of stuff, which was great. I thought that was I thought that that's a very good relationship to have. All I'm saying is that I think Bluepoint and FromSoft should like merge at the hip. They should like combine and become one. And then take all the things that FromSoft is good at, which is art design, level design, 
gameplay mechanics, all that kind of stuff. Let them do that. Let let FromSoft do all the stuff that they're incredibly good at, and then let let uh, Bluepoint, BlueSoft, take all of the technical stuff, the stuff that made Demon Souls look so good. Don't let them make any of the decisions regarding like uh, gameplay stuff. No, let let them be the technical wizards that they always have been from all the games that they put out. Let them do that and get an absolutely fucking gorgeous, ridiculously well-crafted, like, with all the wonderful shit that FromSoft does, with all the beautiful shit and, and, and composition stuff that, that Bluepoint's able to do. <sighs> the fucking perfect game. Like, the literal perfect game. But I don't, and, and, but to me, like, Bloodborne's a game that runs at like 20 fucking four frames a second, practically, 25 frames a second, and is running at like 900p. It's a rough ass game, and it does not look any better on anything. So, and it's still one of the best games ever made, still to this day. It's still one of the best games ever made. If you have a, a well-designed game through and through, even the technical issues of a game can be, uh... What's the best word for this? It can be like an oversight. You can look past that for like what the game is doing in terms of forgiven. Yeah, it can essentially be forgiven for the ridiculous gameplay experience or something unique that it's setting up for. And luckily, Elden Ring, despite its technical issues, still is going to win best racing game of the year, best party game of the year, best sports game of the year, and best game of the year, despite its technical forthcomings. Uh, that it's had to deal with on a multitude of systems, right? It's still going to win game of the year for everything. This game, there's zero fucking chance because it is crazy. Like this game makes you look at open world games completely different. The, the engagement levels in this fucking game are through the roof. Just absolutely you're going to go to some place and see something crazy new and different around every fucking corner and you have no idea what's going to happen. It is. And the amount of time that 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 the game is allowing you to do that and it's still providing that over and over and over again is truly fucking remarkable. Truly. I love Spider-Man, right? I like Ghost of Tsushima and I enjoyed a bit of Breath of the Wild. But at some point during all of those games, I was sort of aware if I go to this area, I'm going to run into that. And that's what it's going to be. It's going to be this thing or this kind of a fight. And I'm going to have to do that. I'm going to have to go fight a Ronin. I'm going to have to go fight a Lionel. I'm going to have to go fight some boss gang thing in Spider-Man, right? And you just, th there's only so many things an open world can produce in a big environment like that. That can be unique enough without it taking fucking years, you know? So the, all those games share very similar things when you get to them and like, oh, this guy's just colored red and he's bigger and he's harder. Um, and this guy's the same thing, but in a slightly different way, like all that kind of shit, you know? This game doesn't really have that. Like some parts, I guess, like there's a couple of things, but the, the, the different thing about Elden Ring is that once you start traversing, you don't really think of it like that. By the time you get to a new area, you're like, oh, there's going to be another dragon here. Oh, there's going to be another, uh, like, a burial site that I have to, I have to coffin pillage, you know? There is stuff like that here, but the difference is there's enough unique shit that's happening on the way, and there's enough unique shit that'll happen between each zone. Or another dungeon, yeah. That makes you not think like, oh, it's just going to be this again. Oh, it's just going to be that again. Oh, it's just going to be this again. You don't get that feeling, right? The... I have never played a game, I, and I, I love adventuring in, like, Souls games. It's one of the most fun things in the world. But I have never played a game that has so far been able to offer, what is it, 35 hours of nothing but discovery. Thir 35 hours into this, and I don't even have... the. I, I have not even unlocked the entirety of this map yet, much less actually explored nearly all of it. B I barely have. I feel like I've only gotten, like, maybe 50% of the map. Does it really say 10%? I don't even know, I don't even know, don't even know what my percentage is. You're less than 20% through the game. Jesus Christ. That's all I have to say is, holy sweet Jesus, dude. 
the dungeon's unique. It's hard to say, even though it's another one, as it is so different and new. No, well, that's the thing. The dungeons will look similar, but they'll have completely different layouts, completely, completely different puzzles to solve, completely different enemies. So, no. Like, they visually look similar, but they'll... Each one presents a different challenge. Each one presents something unique than what the hell you were doing last time. And usually requires you to have the information of what happened last time to go in and do shit. And completely different rewards. Yeah, that's true. That's true, too. It, and I agree. Senju in Japan? I completely agree. This game is almost daunting. It's almost... At times, it's almost too much. It almost feels like I'm going to be a hundred fucking years old by the time I'm done with this shit. Like, I need to touch grass every once in a while, game. I can't just ha live, breathe, and shit Elden Ring at every given moment of my life. Okay, so, I know Souls games. Shit! There he is. I know Souls games, right? See? I didn't know what it was going to be over there. But, my bitch ass knows that if, it, if, if an enemy looks out in the open and is uh, completely unaware of your situation, and appears that they are a prey for easy backstabs. It's never as never. That is never as easy. The trauma has kicked in of playing so many of these games, right? The trauma has kicked in. It's a bait. If there's an item in the middle of the if there's a big road and there's an item in the middle of a road, that's not a free item. Here comes a giant magical bowling ball that'll instantly kill you. The Souls experience. Giant magical bowling ball. Um, yeah, chat. Let me go. Let me go get some coffee really quick. Hold on a second. This guy's got glowy eyes. Okay. I still haven't gotten my coffee. And I really need to. You have a personal trainer? No, that's the idea of the machine. The, ma the machine is essentially a acts as your personal trainer. What the fuck happened to my lighting? I'm all pink. Um, the machine acts as your personal trainer, so it's essentially guided me to, like, build uh, a foundation of some kind to, to start working out from. Uh, I've moved away from that, and I have been doing my own workouts now that are more focused on individual... Uh, in individual muscle groups that, like, really exhaust the shit out of me. Um, and that's been better for me because I felt like the, the workouts that it was giving to me was not... Um, I, I wasn't getting a workout, long story short. I was just like, if I'm doing, like, three reps of curls and then a, a little bit more on my arms, I don't feel like my arms get enough of a workout now. Like, I need them to be, uh, tired. I need to, I need to feel muscle atrophy or whatever that that is. Per hypertrophy. Uh, I need to change my lighting. I'm pink, man. Yeah, what the hell happened? There we go. Atrophy, bad. Hypertrophy, good. Stop it, you damn bat. Oof. Ever thought about adding Ring Fit to my workouts? Uh, no, because Ring Fit is, uh, mostly, uh, cardio. And I cannot be doing a, a whole bunch of cardio in general because it will burn calories. And I, I already have a problem keeping enough calories in my goddamn diet. 
it's going to be it, it'll be kind of hard to build significant muscle with ring fit um because it'll just take a long time long story short it, it'll definitely make you more healthy 100 percent don't get me wrong but the actual thing that ring fit you use to like resist the band is only so good. It's a great workout, man. If you want to feel better, fucking start playing Ring Fit and have fun doing it. Jesus. That's a, that's a great... There's a reason that game sold so much. It's fun and it will... Uh, it's fun and it will produce uh, results that you're looking for if you're starting to burn calories. What's your... Uh, diet? Uh, 3,000... I try to get 3,000 calories a day, 200 grams protein. And that's tough for me. In fact, I should probably go eat something right now. Yeah, I would like to get better cardio. I would. If once I once I actually pack some more size onto my damn body, I will uh I will definitely look forward to doing cardio. I'm also going to dramatically look forward to not eating so much fucking food every day. I mean, to cram all this meat into my system all the time. I'm looking forward to that. That's definitely one of those bats. 200 grams protein. Uh, yeah, the... The, what's it called? Uh, the, the, the primary goal is at least one gram of protein per, uh, per pound of body weight. And I'm at about 200, I'm at about 200, 201, 202 right now. So, that's the goal. And that kind of, that can be hard to do, man. You, uh, actually, I should go make a fucking shake is what I should do. Uh, but I won't lie. Oh, it's singing. I've gotten kind of sick of making the big shakes. I've gotten sick of it, dude. Um, I just, I can't stand having this big drink that I have to, like, pile down. Because I've put all this, like, extra stuff in the shakes. Um, and I'm just done with it. It just makes me too full. So, over the past week, I've been, uh, just throwing powder and water... And just, uh, and just down the fuck out of it. Don't even care how it tastes. I did the shake thing for like a year where I would make like a big like protein shake out of something. And it just got, I just get too tired of eating it, man. Too tired of having to put this whole thing down my fucking gullet. So now I just like powder, water, mix, drink it in 30 seconds, it's over. Yeah, I'm 6'4". God damn, EJ Leg, holy shit. Thank you for the 50 bucks, man. I used to box and I'm still actively sparring and let's say I'm uh, at a good workout is just punching a bag on burnouts on top of that. My buddy used to be on the juice. It's off, but does uh, BJJ now. Said he's never felt stronger. That's great, yeah. I would definitely not get close to any of that shit, man. That stuff's scary to me. Thank you, EJ. Yeah, like, the, the, the one thing, I was really demotivated, especially after, like, eight months of sort of casually working out and not really getting much results. And then I found from my, uh, my brother-in-law, who's been working out for, like, ten years, and he's super buff, and he's like, don't, don't worry about it. And he started off, like, crazy skinny as well, right? And he's like, don't worry about it. Like, it, it takes time. It's just gonna take time. If you're natural, it's just gonna take time. You can't, you just can't put on muscle fast as, as a natural bodybuilder, or if you're just going to be working out. He said, he said, in fact, he's like, he's like, the, it, it, he said, this might be demotivating, but like, wait a couple years. Like, <laughs> might have to wait a couple years of being consistent. Fuck! And the big thing I noticed, um, was actually food. The big thing was diet. Was, was making sure I was eating as much as I needed to. 
Oh my god, that was way in there, man. Making sure I was actually eating enough. No, no, Hollywood, Hollywood, almost all Hollywood transformations are, uh, what the fuck they use, testosterone shit. Right? That stuff is no good. There, if there's, if there's a crash of any kind where it's like your body needs to, if you get off of it, you get fucked up. That's no, ooh, -hoo. no, 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 no. I think I'm good, man. I get it. It's not like a direct, like, steroid, but... Uh, if, if you need to take testosterone replacement and stuff like that to, like, boost the shit out of muscle growth, but if you get off of it, it's like... No, 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 no. <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, that's, that seems like a big fucking no-no to me. And things like creatine and stuff like that are just supplements. Like, that's it. God. Fucking hate bats. God damn, I hate fucking bats. You fucking bats! No, no, the idea is that I would like to increase my lifespan. <laughs> I would prefer to, uh, increase, um, my quality of life and happiness and everything like that. You know? Damn. Well, I lost all my shit. I'm on two, Nico. I just- I'm gonna fucking kill this guy. I don't like you. You got so lucky. Well, no, the, my big motivation was not just to, like, build muscles. Um... I was, like, frail, man. Like, I felt like there was, like, nothing to me. And... It didn't help having, like, anxiety and stomach problems and coming off of all that shit. Uh, but consistently working out essentially eliminated most of my stomach issues. What? You hit me in the top of the head? Um, and I have not had any, like, weird anxiety attacks or anything in a very long time. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna thank, uh, all the crazy endorphins that a little bit of physical fitness will- will do. I've never been happier in my entire life, either. That's like a big one. And that could be because I have a baby. Adept Mechanic, thanks for the triple sevens, man. Protein in the morning helps with anxiety. Good. Yeah, good. I'm actually looking forward to the day, uh, where... I'll get like 10 to 15 more pounds on me and I'll be up to like maybe 215-ish, maybe 215 to 220. And then I won't have to worry about eating like crazy anymore and hopefully we'll have put on a bit of, a little bit of size and be comfortable enough where it's like, okay, I can finally go down to like 15 to like 1700 to maybe 2000 calories a day and just eat like a normal person again, right? Just be normal. Because my cheat days, some days I just need a break, my cheat days are not eating. People, like, usually eat whatever they want on their cheat days. Like, dude, my cheat days are just, I got, I, I just need to not feel full all the time. I just need to wake up in the morning, have a cup of coffee, and have that be it. Instead of cramming, like, a giant, uh, spam and rice burrito, with- with two eggs in it, at least. And then also eating a protein yogurt and, uh... Some cheese and something like that, like having to... Put all this fucking food into me. So full. So goddamn full all the time. 
So getting a couple of days where I don't have to worry about that? Oh. Yeah, spam and eggs is delicious, right? Oof. Spam and eggs, steak and eggs. That food is delicious, but when you have to eat it like four times a week, man. I don't eat breakfast, I just don't. I don't need breakfast. Never felt like I did. Shut up. Shut up. Where all your fucking bats come from, huh? Fuck out of here. You fucking get the fuck out. I'm gonna keep mashing R1. Oh god. God, what the hell? They do that? Okay. No! Oh, Jesus. Holy Lord. Holy moly! God, dude. One bat is like no problem. But, like, seven bats is a huge problem. Or You just bought some spam singles? I like spam a lot. Um, you, like, cook it up, right? Obviously, don't just eat it. Um, but get the low-sodium spam. It tastes way better. Shit is unnecessarily salty. One of my one of my favorite breakfasts that J JJ will make me is a uh, bowl of rice, just regular rice, slice of spam, an egg, and some soy sauce on top of it. So fucking good, so goddamn good. Almost fell through the world. In the Philippines, that's called Spam Salog. Um, I think they also have it in Hawaii, too. It's like a very, uh, it's a very, like, common breakfast. What is Spam? Variety meat. Yeah, don't just eat spam raw. Don't eat spam raw. Cook it over, cook it over, uh, pan fry some spam, some spam. It turns, if you turn it crispy, hmm. It's, it's fucking, here's the problem with spam, which is why I don't like preparing it. You open that shit up and it is 100% cat food. You will not convince me in any other way that that is not cat food. However, you cook it and you make it crispy on the outside and you bite into it, and I'm like, this is like better bacon. What the shit? What? 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 This is so good. Does it, and don't include me on the fabrication process of it all, because there is zero doubt in my mind that that is anything but cat food. My mom used to tell me from like, when she grew up in the 50s, that they used to have spam sandwiches, but they didn't cook it. And it would be like, just spam on bread with like, mayo. I'm like, fuck, dude. Fuck. Oh my god. Ugh. Yeah, your mom, your mom hates spam because they served it at school lunches the same way. They served raw slices, yes. Back in the 50s and 60s, they served that shit raw slices. I'm like, fuck, dude. Ew. Man. Okay. I got a squid to beat.
beak attack. Damn. These guys become very easy when you just get up their grill and start swinging away. Oh, please be like a tear. Serpent God's Curved Sword? Oh, it looks stupid. Oh, it's a big snake head. But you're saying this is like curved sword. Oh, it's the equivalent of a falchion. Well, for the sake of science, chat, hold on a second. I was thinking curved great sword. Oh, it's got that. Cool. Let's go whack something. Yeah, whenever I grab a new weapon, I have to see if I can uh, dual wield it in some way. And, uh... Results are always pretty neat. Oh, God! We have some quests to go fix. Uh, I have the dude I gotta go give the school key to. I got some beast shit for the beast guy. And I need to go get the twin blade. I have not acquired the twin blade yet, and people were like, it's back at the beginning of the game, and I'm like, why? 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 Miss that. That's a hidden ability. Uh, skill favored by dexterous warriors. Slash your- slash foes as your body spins. Additional input allows for follow-up attack. Interesting, so it's just got more R1s. Okay. It says restore HP on killing? Oh, I missed that. What? Oh, oh, I was looking at the bottom. Formerly used to offer up sacrifices, this sword restores HP upon slaying an enemy. Six pains, thank you, dude. Uh, you've been a big motivation right before the pandemic. I had lost 45 pounds eating keto and doing DJJ and got motivated to go uh, back and it's been rough, but seeing you stay consistent has been I need to kick in the ass shine on- Yo, thank you, Six Pains. I appreciate it, man. I, I only say it because I, I have had uh, very little physical fitness over the past 20 years of my life, where it's been mostly, at least the past 10 especially, where it's hyper-focused on career stuff, right? So, uh, it's a big change for me. Like, a huge change for me to do resistance training, because I have not done resistance training in 20 years, right? have not actually lifted weights in some way in, in 20 years. And I barely did much of it when I was younger. So, I literally started with nothing. Just skin and bones is what it felt like. Yo, have a good one, Death Spit. I look like I'm 20? That's very sweet of you. I should give you a fucking kiss. Oh, precious item. Uh-oh. I've been poisoned by something. Poisoned by something again. This fucking guy. Oh my god, there's two! down here? Dude, I just wanted a simple enemy to whack with my new weapons, and it presents these stupid, gargly dickheads. I just wanted something to smack with my new swords. Colossus of Chodes, thanks for the five. 
Hot streamer trend right now is to smash or pass. What fighting game roster would you and your video game smash slash pass? We need to know what Soulsborne bosses you personally would smash. We must know. Channel the chat's horny energy. Is that Steve's alt account? Yeah. It might have been. DJH, AOS Theory, Syph is Stupid, Turkish. Nostragamus, thanks man for the prime. Now I can whack a bat at least. Steve, we know it's you. I just want to use my swords. Wow, these are not leveled up. These are not leveled up. These are just random items in my inventory. Right? And these dudes are getting smacked. Oh, the, there's a red. Oh, there's like a red, red, red shits. That's awesome. Holy shit, this weapon is. How much does it give me? Uh, a, a chunk. Wow. Wow, a chunk. This is good. Ben Diaz, thank you. This is this is good. It gets like a ten percent ish. Even if it was less than 10%, that's a good amount. I was thinking it was going to be like one or two and you'd barely see anything. You hate the red shits? I like the red shits. I like seeing the red shits. Like my character's fashion. Thank you. I've specifically tailored it. In fact... Uh... No. No, I don't like that. Nope. That's not good either. It's in fact very bad. Nah, the Astrologer's Boots are the best. Yeah, I'm sorry, the Carrion Night Greaves are the best because they have like leather, big leather boots. Big Bloodborne boots. And then, uh, dude, the fucking Confessor's hood is awesome. It's so good for fashion. I missed something back at the round table? Oh, shit. I'll have to check that out. Yes, we need to- we need to go back to the ruins, we need to do that stuff, we gotta do all those things. Shit, I actually have a- I need to avoid an area? I might be on the way there, but we're just gonna get the- the, uh, the- the spot in this area. Um, I actually have another sponsored stream for Elden Ring coming up day after tomorrow. And it's like a back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back thing where a previous streamer who's also sponsored is going to be going through a certain area and then they want me to go through a certain area and they're like, have you been there yet? I'm like, actually, no. And I forget what the name of it is. Something Manor. Uh, and I have not been there at all. And I said I would wait. So if we come across this area... Karen, Kyron Manor, something like that. They're like, we would like you to go through, yeah, Carrion. Okay, that's it. Kyra, Carrion Manor, something like that. I've never, I don't know what it is, but they told me uh, if I can stream Carrion Manor and then I'm going to host another streamer and they're going to go through like another area too. So it's like back to back to back, we'll be like hosting and piggybacking on each other, playing different parts of Elden Ring. I'm like, that sounds kind of cool. That's a, whoever came up with this idea for a sponsor stream, that was a good idea. Back 
Dude, these are dope. I like being faster, I'm not gonna lie. I think I'm liking being a bit faster. In general. Damn, look at this guy. What are you doing? How much time have I been exercising? About a year. I'm, I'm, I'm just about one year in. Titus, thanks for the 20 bucks, man. Did Elden beat Bloodborne as your favorite Souls game? No. I talked about this a bit yesterday. I think this might be a better game than Bloodborne. But... Bloodborne is so fucking cool. Bloodborne's so fucking cool. Everything about Bloodborne is so fucking cool. Did I just... Oh my good god. No! How's our 12 bats suddenly? I'm liking these swords. They're pretty neat. Um, Bloodborne is so fucking cool. Everything about Bloodborne is so cool. I like its world more. I think this world is potentially, like, bigger and more vast, obviously. But... Bloodborne is so fucking cool. I can't take that off. I can take this off. Can. Do I have the dual wield talisman? Curved sword, twin blade, axe, hammer, guard counters, final hit of chain attacks, charged attacks, stamina reducing attacks against blockers, jump attacks. I do not have the dual wield. Bullshit. Raises attack power of successive attacks. Okay. Bloodborne is so fucking cool. Like, everything about Bloodborne is just like aggressively cool. Uh, so that that's going to be hard to be better than that, you know? So cool it is. It's so fucking cool. <laughs> the world and everything about Bloodborne is just it does a lot to me personally. I can acknowledge that this is probably a better game than Bloodborne, but is it, it, it this might be this might review as a better game than Bloodborne, right? But do I think it's better than Bloodborne? That's going to be almost impossible to... to do. Bloodborne's just such a goddamn unique game. It's so fucking cool. Like, I don't even... Even if there wasn't a Bloodborne 2, I think I'd be happy with just... a PC port of the first game. Or, you know, if you want to be... If you want to really hammer it home, Give us a Demon Souls remake of Bloodborne by Bluepoint. Uh, let that be. You don't. Even, we don't even need Bloodborne too. Just remake Bloodborne the same way that that Bluepoint remade Demon Souls. Um, and then fix some of the, the weird issues like no respecking. Put in a respec of some kind. Put in. Put in a couple. All the things that people complain about the game, right? At like end level, which do genuinely have problems. The whole uh, Bloodstone farming thing. Uh, I'm sorry, blood gem farming thing? Get rid of that shit. Make it more concise. Fucking incredible. Like, just absolute. And it's not like Bloodborne is a new game. Uh, Bloodborne's about to be seven years old, man. It's getting close to being... like a decade. Is it too early for a remaster? It's... It's getting there, dude. They came out in 2015, man. Seven years ago. So if, if they could, if they could touch up that game in the same way they touched up a lot, for example, you guys know how they added a ton of new animations and stuff like that to, uh, to Demon Souls? How all the attacks and stuff like that, all the unique, like, backstabs and all that shit, they, like, added 
an absolute metric ton of animations to that game, you know? Really gave the game a lot of cool looking combat variety, even more than the original. How, and I've been saying this from before, I'm like, if there's a Bloodborne 2, in some way, if there's another Bloodborne anything, there needs to be unique visceral attacks per weapon. Because, like, in the game right now, you just do, like, a, a, a grab, your sh grab your shit. They, like, grab your tits and pull. Uh, they do that for everything. But how sick would it be if there was actually unique visceral attacks for every single weapon? And they did some crazy transform thing. Yeah, you get the ass rip. Every Everything does that. How cool would it be if every weapon in the game actually got a unique animation? That's the kind of shit that a Blue Point remake would add. You like the ass rip? You can still do the ass rip. Like you could just there could be there could be a weapon that the ass rip allows for. Or maybe, for example, maybe if you parried an enemy from the front. Or it's like vice versa. Maybe like if it was the back you did the ass rip, but if it was a front sort of like an animation, it would it would kick in something different, you know? Like that's that's a very easy way to keep a bit of the old and the new. And you can just walk to the front of the back if you want to do ass rip or this thing. I mean it feels like there's a lot of options there. That's a lot of work. Well they did that for Demon Souls, man. They they already did that kind of extensive work for Demon Souls. Like, you should see all the crazy mocap shit that they had to do for all the new animations that they added to Demon Souls, man. It was a lot. Yo, Markilla, thanks for the bits, dude. Uh, let's actually bait one of these enemies and not completely fuck it up. So there's a second one. Over here. Yeah, and, and you also could alleviate the big issue the game has with blood vial farming, right? Everybody, when you first play through that game, is going to run into a blood vial problem because of bosses being tough. You're going to run out of blood vials, and you're going to have to go to some shitty area and farm blood vials or rip the ass out of a few pigs to afford blood vials. There's a good thing that could be fixed, because that is a part of the game I think almost everyone could agree does not need to be that way. We don't need... You don't- we don't need blood vial farming anymore. There should be, like, a default amount of blood vials you can get. And... You- if you want more, you can, you know, save for more. Because it's like, what? 20? Uh... Like, 20-ish vials you get or something like that? You stop playing the game because of the heals? I know! A lot of people hate that shit, and I don't blame people, it sucks. The- the not Estus system of the game is rough. Does Demon Souls have that same problem? Dude, there's like a billion different types of grass you can eat in that game. There's so much fucking grass you consume. You rarely- I rarely ran out of healing at any point in, uh, in Demon Souls Remake. I don't know if they adjusted it. So, you have a friend. Where... is he? God damn. 
God damn. You're really up my ass, aren't you? What are you pressing the button for, man? Oh, I have the wrong thing. You fucking bat. These things are so friggin' fast. Did it just die? Fuck me. This is awful. Dude, I cannot dodge this shit. I hate these bats so much. Are you sure you don't want to go out with the shield? I mean, if I pulled out the shield, it would become much easier, but we're trying, like, I just grabbed some new items and new weapons that are unupgraded, and I want to use them. So I'm using them. I'm making it unintentionally hard on myself. Ashes of War. Oh, that's for the, uh, the mimicry stuff. You want to dupe an Ash of War? Can I see something? <gasps> Sweet babies. Just forgot something gentle in a second. Please rest. Thank you. More singing? Really? More singing? God. Yeah, I think I'm at like level 50. Uh, I'm 58. If this game does one thing very well, even more so than any of the Souls games that have come before, in fact, I'd argue maybe better than any game I've ever played is Scale. Like this, the, we climbed up all of that shit, dude. We came from like down there, went all the way up there, did all this stuff, and we're still going up. Like I feel like the, and it's, and it's not like a bullshit sense of scale where it's just like, oh, pretty skybox, you know? No, like, you literally traverse that area, there's all this crazy shit that happened in between. That's amazing. It feels so... It feels like you've, you've actually taken part... You've taken part in, like, the zone in some way. To think that, like, all the level design magic that goes into Souls games would actually get translated to an open world game in some way. I, I, and I almost feel it, like... 
they almost don't want you to like feel like big empty areas ever. Like they, they specifically put certain elements or, oh shit, certain things in between every single spot of this map that have to happen every like minute or something like that. Like every 30 to 45 seconds, they have to have something unique. And I, I almost feel like that, that applies to everywhere of the map where it's like, well, let's take this design philosophy. We don't want our players to get bored in an open world map. Every 30 seconds, there should be something. There should either be new enemies or something crazy that happens or a fucking lobster. That kind of shit. Yeah, the, the levels are the main characters of Souls games. 100%. I, 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 well, 100%. I feel that to my core. Yeah, nothing ever feels too open. It's my current build. It's all over the goddamn place. Um. So, let's do these couple of things that we've really needed to... Was this... Did that guy die, or was that guy the assassin? The edgelord was the assassin? What a bitch! The edgelord was the assassin. How fucking funny, of course he never said anything. He was trying to kill everybody. Octopus head? When the hell did I get this? That's awful. When the hell did I pick this up? Cute. Hmm, still cute. Whoa, back off. Still cute. Oh, this is fucking nasty, man. Oh my god. This shit's fucking nasty. This is not really what I'm going for. Yeah, there we go. That's that good shit. Lick it from the taint to the paint. <laughs> from the front to the back. Just a big lick. That's the good shit. So I don't have whatever that is. No, no, I'm not giving up on the, uh, on the boss. Trust me, I'm not. I'm, uh, trying to fulfill some stuff. Maybe use some souls in some way. I should probably buy this. The description of the helm has some nice passives. Yeah, I should probably be doing that. I'm, I've been, uh, inadvertently skipping a lot of these details. The land octopus helm, when worn directly on the head, has a lingering warmth reminiscent of human skin. Nice. Those who can withstand the smell will find its organic elasticity excellent for negating strikes. So it has really high defense. Oops. Skeleton helm. Slowly replenishes HP when HP is reduced. Wow. Slowly replenishes HP when HP is reduced. That's really good. Natural regen? That's really good. Um, The full set has that? You're right. So I'd imagine all the pieces on, you have a pretty decent regen. Abound. Yeah, you can have an HP regen build. I need an FP regen build, damn it.
with tiny little gloves. Itty bitty little gloves. And maybe if we just leave those on, we'll get some HP regen out of this. Yeah, it's almost like, it's like intentional. The set is like hideous looking. It's gross and nasty and hideous. But it has an amazing passive. That is so, that is so fucking Miyazaki it hurts. Always good to sun. There's a catch. Oh, these are all ashes of war. Usable on small and medium swords and hammers as pole arms. Grants affinities and skills are on a. It's not useful, nearly like at 10% health. I see. I see. Uh, what else was I going to check out? Well, I took you for dead, no matter. Lay out your arm. And suddenly it's plus seven. Okay. You think this is the easiest Souls game? Yes, and you know why? Uh, approachability. Not accessibility. Those are different things. This is the easiest Souls game because you have the most options in this game than any Souls game, right? You can literally avoid bosses, right? You can literally run past them and come back later. In some ways, in some ways this can also be the hardest Souls game if you want it to be. But that's the idea. It's a, it's essentially like, I'm not going to use Ashes of War. I'm not going to use summons, right? I'm going to run around fucking naked. You could you can make it super hard if you want to. I'm never going to use Statues of Marika, right? Like, that's the crazy part. The, all the options that the game allows it to be more approachable, you can turn off if you want to. It's kind of smart, right? I mean, granted, there's still going to be hard bosses, and there has been some tough-as-fuck bosses that we have run into so far. But... It's as hard as you want it to be. Pretty much. Same thing in Bloodborne. Like, if you love a game enough, we, we went through Bloodborne as a level 4 dude. Whole game, and never leveled up. Oh, this is new. Queen Marika oh shit to become Elden Lord and restore the golden order I did it already the fingers expect as much you from you as they do young idiot take this a token of farewell I did it did you just give me an extra fucking talisman spot We did it, chat. It's over. <gasps> oh! Oh! Sorry. Oh! Oh! Sorry. Oh, fuck yeah. Ah, oh, fuck yeah, mate. Governor. Spell casting time? Jeez, dude. There's so many things I would like to put on. Um. I'm gonna try stamina recovery speed. Elden Ring, carrier of its vision. 
a god in truth. But after the Elton Ring's shattering, she was imprisoned in the Erd Tree. Interesting. A grim punishment for shattering the Order. Despite her godhood. Okay. The fingers speak. Malika's trespass demanded a heavy sentence. But even in shackles, she remains a god and the vision's vessel. Confer great runes to become Elden Lord and join Queen Marika as her consort. The fingers have willed it so. Now you may go. Interesting. Did you guys hear my, um, somebody said it on Twitter. Like the, uh, the super condensed version of what the story in this game is. And I, I still think it's actually kind of cool. Even though it's hard to like gather all the information that, and all the plot points that are, that are present. But the gimmick of the story is that the Elden Ring is not like a physical ring. The Elden Ring is like rules. They're, they're literally runes that govern reality. They like govern existence. So... And there's a demigod behind each one, whether or not it's like the moon, the sun, life, death, um, indigestion, I don't know. There's like a demigod behind each one, and they all come together to make the Elden Ring. Uh, long story short, one of the demigods was murdered, and it, the Elden Ring was shattered. So reality in itself was essentially distorted. And the god that was murdered was the, the demigod of death. So the Elden Ring of death um, doesn't apply anymore. Death is no longer a rule, a, a, a rune. So there's these weird, like, in-between lands where uh, death isn't, like, permanent. And there's, the, the rules don't apply anymore. I'm like, that's kind of neat. <laughs> it's kind of fucking cool. And that's where your character comes in. This, like, character in between life and death. Which is kind of what happens at the beginning. Not exactly right. Right, no, I'm paraphrasing 100%. I don't I, I don't I barely think anybody has actually compiled all the fucking lore, but that sort of is what is going on. That's like the the general plot point that our character jumps in at, where at the very start of the game, what happens? You die, and you get sent into the, you get sent to the lands between. I'm very much looking forward to a compilation of what happens when we eventually get an idea of what I can buy her gear. Oh, wow. Uh, when we eventually get a better idea of where the story's actually going. Take the power of its namesake, the Finger Reader. Yo, what did you have? You Oh, you have Glintstone stuff. Incar incarnate a full moon and launch it at foes. Oh, that spell. 70 fucking int. Holy 60 fuck. Damn, you gotta be smart as shit. Zero faith, right? You have that much int? You got zero faith. That is so much. Good lord. It's not even that good, you have it? <laughs> yeah. That's that's par for course. Okay. Yo. Um, how do I know if I'm oh I'm definitely not. Because I died to the fucking bats. If I'm rune arced currently, I'm definitely not. Uh, okay, we have to take care of a couple of random things. Random thing number one, before we fight this boss, is... This guy. This guy. Wait, where'd the lady go? And the, uh, my tailor. Oh shit, the grape lady's gone. It's hmm. not good. I 
Maybe because of nighttime? Yeah. Back to learn another. Why, of course. Here you go, man. Are you certain? You're willing to give your glintstone key to me. My, oh my. Thank you. Thank you dearly. Now I can go back to the academy to resume my study of glintstone sorceries. And the very stars. <laughs> what is that? That emote? Thank you dearly. With your blessing, I will depart for the Academy of Freya Lucaria. Oh, perhaps one day you will pay me a visit. Who knows? I may be a decorated sorcerer by then. <laughs> Thank you. With you, perhaps. Who knows? <laughs> All right. Well, that seems to be done. Be on his merry way. And, um... Cha. Oh man, that one's great. <laughs> yeah, you can practically do the YMCA here, right? We just need like the C and the A. Some Ginyu Force shit. Is that an item? A lot of HP back, that's for sure. Yeah, these things are quick. Dual curved swords is kind of crazy. I do feel like, uh, I feel like I'm doing a Cervantes build or something like that. I would really like either NG Plus or something along those lines to make an Ashitaka build. We have to find the proper gear. The gear is the most important thing. We have to, like, find something blue. Find, like, the red part. Get a cool bow. Find a cool, like, cleaver-looking sword. Right? What's Ashitaka? Welcome back to the stage of history. Uh, this guy. This fucking dude from this... Fucking movie, right? We have to we try to make one of these because he practically is already, uh, he practically has already got the exact same horse. So we just need we need to find a hat, the outfit, the sword, and the bow and arrow, right? And it would be primarily bow focused. It would be like an, a bow and arrow run. But I mean, here's. Here's the ideal. The ideal shit. We definitely could do it. It's definitely a, a heavy priority. That was the first thing I thought, man. I'm like, dude, you could probably make an Ashitaka build in this in this game. How sick would that be? Run around like you're living prince. Oh shit, Princess Mononoke or something like that. I think you can make it. The, the hardest part is uh, finding the appropriate garments. Uh, locating the gear to make it, to pull it off. Yes, yeah, so eyes unclouded by hate. It's 
Some of the merchant guys have very similar clothing to that. That's true. Uh, what's next? I'm tempted to go to Lucaria to see if we can find where that guy went, but this is where we got to go next. Beast Sanctum. Hey, how's it going? Oh. Oh, well, thank you. Bestial Sling. Is that a magic? To a learned sorcerer, to acquire new sorcerers. Uh. Is. Ten Faith. Swiftly fling numerous sharp rock shards. I can equip that. Let's attune it really fast. I got the faith. Okay. Fast and cheap, that's for sure. Fast and cheap. Not bad. Liking sorcery? Actually, no, I'm not a sorcerer. Um, we're in, we're, we've crammed all of our points into faith. The spell has no deeps. Oh. No. Oh. Looks neat. I still haven't had a chance to summon Oleg. Hang on a second. Just for the sake of, uh, shits and giggles. Get him, Oleg. Okay. Ow. Damn, Oleg. Oh! Oleg's not dead. Doing something. Didn't get one-shotted. I practically got one-shotted, but didn't. That guy's a beefcake. I don't know. When I, when I think the, the door here is an obvious cheese, right? This might be very similar to, like, what is it, Abhorrent Beast type of thing? Where we, like, poison him or some shit? Um, that, that, that could be a strategy where you, like, you run in here, and then slap the shit out of him, and then run back, and then slap the shit out of him. Right? Something like that. You know what I want to do? Hang on a second. <gasps> I do have it on here. Oh, fuck. So I just turned the, uh, the snake sword into a blood sword. Oh, okay. What else did I need to do? I kind of wanted to go to, uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Before we go fight whatever boss that is. Um. I need to go see if I can grab the twin blade.
Yo, Exus, Burnsy, uh, Shine Edgelord, uh, Kill Engine, Ill Wolf. Uh, it's Amity's Wake, JV5 Guy, Applemon, Vokuro Imari, MC3C, Galactus Scooter, Rage Kid, Sinric, Cypherior, J Gundam Trillion, Tactician, KRSG, Hamet the Bean, and Killer X Alien. Thank you very much, guys. Welcome and welcome back. So apparently it's in this ruin, right? Did I just fucking find it? Was it one wall? Are you shitting me? Are you literally shitting me? It was here the whole time and I just never jumped this wall? Are you fucking shitting me? I ran around for so long using the basic bitch-ass broadsword. This was right here the whole time. My god, dude. Now I just gotta find another one, because then I'm I'm super curious what the uh twin blade dual wielding is like. Strength 10, Dex 18, yeah. Really curious. Is that FPS fake? Uh, no. It's not. Fact. Let's do this. Try and get to 4k. See if I actually get any dips at all. Crispy. Yeah, if you want- if you want to get an early game twin blade, it's just in there. That's it. Can twin blade dual wield? I'm pretty sure. Ow. Ow. I'm going poorly, man. Fucking dogs. Fucking dogs. Fucking dogs. Change anything on settings for graphics? Not really. Is our samurai guy back? He's not. Not back. Wait. Oh god. Oh dear. Okay, let's get all our health back now. Ow. Now let's get all this health back. Well, actually, this weapon is really good for this. Um, because you can get the life back that you spend on the Blood Blade. Right? Right? You're, you're essentially self-satisfying the Blood Blade. That's kind of neat. Rickety shield. A hmm. little bit of synergy going on here. CH Bing, thank you. Alright, uh, I guess we should not wait any longer. Should we chat, what should we do? Rhea Lucaria? And just go see if we can find that guy? And continue his quest line? Uh, a wee bit. Or... Go... Try to fell whatever the hell boss this is. Let's do the Lucaria thing. Yeah. Let's do the quest line thing real fast. I don't know where the heck we should go. Maybe the schoolhouse classroom? This guy wanted to learn shit? Fuck.
I loved this zone. I thought this place was awesome. Uh, shit. Do we have any idea where this guy might actually be? Go outside, back to the main entrance. Main Academy Day. Damn, sometimes the light hit just right. I love the idle music in this zone. It sounds so cool. Oh, he smacked me with a fucking book. We're in the main lobby. Hmm. Where are you? I feel like he should be around the schoolhouse classroom. Maybe I'm just missing something. He wanted to learn shit, right? And this place is very big. I don't think we're gonna find him at the edge of like a cliffside. Usually things make sense in Souls games, right? Usually. tends to happen. Oh, 
Oh, sweet Jesus. Sorry, man. This rock thing uh, sucks. Oh, cannot open from this side. What? Oh shit, there is something we had to, we did not get. There's something we did not get. Uh, shit, I completely forgot about that door. He's on the other side of this grace? Okay. So we're saying, like, out here? Shit, dude. How did he die? How did he die? Um, deflecting spell. Okay. You gave me something else, right? Ash of War Thorpe's Barrier. Use it on small and medium shields. Wow. Sucks. Oh, there's an item. What the shit? We get to that. What the? Oh my god! It like curves around. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. 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 Description stuff for more lore. Future generations will learn. Uh, they will know the foolishness of sneering sorcerers who ridiculed this theory, little realizing that it was in fact a discovery worthy of the new conspectus of the academy. Thorpe's Barrier, erect a magical force field while swinging can be used in the same as a regular parry. Uh, where's the staff? Oh. There you go, the other thing. I do it this way. It's my magic staff shit. There it is. Oh, this is the same exact Academy Glintstone staff. Right? 
Same shit. I think I'm going to try to get this item really fast. One second. Well, that guy's quest line is over. Found it, bitch. Okay. Does the game have any punching weapons? Yes, there is, a uh, Bare fist, knuckle, slash claw weapons. Uh-oh. Didn't find it, bitch. Damn it. Shit, this is not it. Guess I, uh... Already found whatever this is. Wait. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's another one of these crowns. I have three crowns now. Detriment of HP. And stamina. High int. Uh, cool. Three. I'm still not used to jumping around, yeah. To get to places. Yeah, I'm imagine there's other areas I didn't explore in here. I mean, I imagine there's still a door that is unopened. And I don't know where the fuck we unlock this door. Like, this door right here. I'm trying to think within the confines of this zone, where that could be. Maybe it's around here and up? Right, how's it going? Oh my fucking god! Oh, that feels amazing. Oh, that feels amazing. Using my huge brain like that and getting rewarded with huge brain rewards. <gasps> There's a goddamn ladder. Oh my god, that feels so good. I'm so smart. What did you die from? You got shot? Oh god. It's an ambush. Sure you can. God damn. Literally was an ambush. Ow. Yikes! Ow, man. Nice jump. Quality whiffs. Damn it, dude. You piece of shit.
definitely healing. Raises potency of sorceries. Oh dear. Oh my. That along with that. Faster spellcasting and more damage for sorceries and stuff. Shit. Hey, it's the door! We found the... Damn. Literally went in here with an objective and uh, is done. Sick. Um, There was also... One area, right? Got a bell bearing? Was it an accessory? It was a key. It's a merchant at Firelink. Oh. Why am I avoiding the boss fight so much? Uh, to bait you guys. It's like a carrot on a stick. It's working, isn't it? Give it to the merchant for more goods. Okay. No, I didn't real. I explored the rooftops a little bit. But not a ton. Let's rest here, and then I'll go to the rooftop spot. Oh my god, I have no... No runes. Uh... Wait, wait, wait. Let me go to... Let me go to hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh shit, I can change the carrion armor. Oh, I lose the cape, though. I like the cape. But I like the cape. Oh, the bell bearings at the twin NPC. Yeah, the, the stone chicks. Oh! Oh! Uh, 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 uh. Church of the Cuckoo. Yeah, this is it. Academy of Rhea Lucaria. No, I'm an idiot. This isn't it. But if I went up there... No. No, that's not where I need to go. I need to get to the other one. Fuck. I keep forgetting, man, that I do not need to go to Sites of Grace. The bait parlor, that's it. I don't need to go to Sites of Grace to, to teleport. Game has allowed a convenience to its players. You don't need to do that shit. So sick. Did I miss anything crazy over here? I didn't really explore this too much. There's like a dude and some pots, but... Hey man, how's it going? Dude, dead asshole now. I'll leave you guys alone, I like you. We did some crazy ass parkour here for some cool loot. That's kind of what I'm attempting to do. Maybe I can get to it from here? Maybe I can giant thick brain this shit? Ow. No, I can just jump off there. Uh... That just leads around to there. Crap. Well, I think this is the way to go. Serpentine.
Okay. Let's take a deep gander at this area. The red stuff I'm getting from kills is um, an HP replenish. It's a part of my sword. That felt good. Oh, quite good. Okay. Just to be sure. Nothing. Okay. Is it like a sword perk? It's unique to the weapon. It's specifically for... How did I miss this? Where did I get it? Um... We acquired this from uh, a generalized this area up here. And this ruin strewn precipice. It was somewhere up there. The precipice. Oh, did I really get it from an octopus beak guy? Are you serious? Octopus beak guy dropped it? Wow, it's just random? Huh. How oh, funny. I didn't realize that. It was- oh, it was behind him. Oh. Ow. Ow. Oh, you pieces of shit. I don't know how I just got hit. Okay, I would prefer not to die today. Fuck you. Who's next? Good night, Grandpa. Oh my god! Oh, he's gonna flip. He's gonna freak out. Ah! Just kill him! Why do you freak out like that? It's it when they get knocked down, they get back up and they do that. Where the fuck? How do we get up there, dude? Is there a ladder or some shit that I am missing? You're over there. Fuck is going on? Is that all part of the big jump that I thought was impossible? The jump? Seek up, then material ahead. Yeah, thanks. There it is. That guy did not make it, dude. I'm just going to sit here. I want to see somebody successfully get this. Did you make it? Maybe if you jump from like the left angle and then hook to the right a bit. You're, you're at like the top part and your ankle. No. Angle's bad. Angle's a further distance. Not this one? Huh? Jumping required. I don't want to look at the death symbols here. I want to see somebody, like, complete it. K. 
can't use your horse here, no. You can, it's tight though. Yeah, it's only 5k, it's not a ton. Sprint jump from left to right, that's what I was feeling it. Right, that's what I was feeling. Cheers, chat. Oh, hell yeah. I did it! Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, I have to come back and do the jump again. Just realized. Bye bye. Bye. -bye. Dead guy? Did I kill that guy? Have I killed this man? Fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. God damn it. Hell yeah. I swear, dude, going back into the castles and shit and like, rediscovering stuff that you just completely missed before is so much fun. You would not believe how much shit we missed in um, Stormvale. Like, there was uh, so much shit. It was insane. I just could not believe that there was... And I think I still missed some stuff. I still think there's actually a couple of fights I didn't do. Oh, baby. Full moon crossbow. Sick. And there's the item. There's the second item. Nothing super fancy, but I'll take it. Now, there might have been another jump we have to make. Because if I go to the top of that belfry, whatever the hell it is, over there, that could potentially lead to extra dank. Um, possibly around there to that area. So, death-defying jump number two. Oof. You have to Donkey Kong the jumps almost, right? Let's see, bitch. You have to like be right off of the edge, like in Donkey Kong Country, you know? You can jump like off the edges. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. I'm turning on a light. Holy shit. I just got so goddamn lucky. I didn't see the insane gaping hole. Uh. Let's top that off, by the way. Where in the hell? <gasps> How 
how many of these things are there? They're like pop figures now. Oh. I know where I'm at. Cool. Are you getting off that light? Uh, it's actually a lantern. Some of the, uh, merchants in the game will sell you lanterns. Uh, buy it and then attach it to your, your quick, your quick slot, your pouch. And you can quickly just turn on like a Bloodborne style lantern. Well, I think that's good. What did you throw? Um, a, uh, what's it called? Uh, a rainbow stone. If the rainbow stone shatters, you'll not survive the drop. Item! Item down there! Ah, oh, motherfucker, it just doesn't end. Did I play or finish the Demon Souls remake? Yes, it's actually on the YouTube channel. Uh, the archive, or the, uh, it's like a five or six part series. They're like six hour videos each. I think I know how to get to this. Right? I think I know. Liar ahead. We'll live. This is so fucking cool, chat. Can I tell you? The exploration to all of this? So fucking cool. Wait, not an item? Item! What's in here, though? How do I feel like a sight of grace? We're here. This and and then it happens. And then it happens. You realize where you actually are. We're back at the beginning. All I did was drop down. Did all this crazy majestical shit. To return back to the first sight of grace. I got that damn item. Wow. Well. Cool. You know what? Oh my fucking god, not cool. Well, that was fun. Um, there's still more? Yeah, okay, don't tell me exactly where it is. Do we have, like, a general area I should be going? Is there, like, head to... Uh, head, head to... more on the roofs? On the lift. Down to the other side of the water wheel. Okay, okay, hang on. The water... the, the water wheel was right outside of this pew-ass pew-pew area, right? The pew area? If I go to the right? 
X Caster. Thanks for the prime, man. I did jump on the chandelier. We already did that. Right? I'm trying to remember where the water wheel area was. Is it down here? Down here past all these- it's down here past all these dickheads. Yes, it is. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to remember. It was a- it was like yesterday we did this. Uh, item. 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 Ow. Fucking dog. God. Another one! More dogs! Ah! Oh my fucking god! Dogs still remain the most uh, brutal enemy in all of Souls games. <sighs> Was I at least going the right way? Was that at least the right way? I think it was. That was that was the way to the the big water wheel thing. Now I wish I had a shield, yeah. Dogs uh fall prey to shield pretty hard. Good shit. Marionette soldiers? Oh my god, that's gonna be fucking amazing. Uh... That shit's gonna be amazing. These guys are busted. And have them be on my side? Shit. You piece of shit! My juice. Not again. God, no. Item. 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 Dog. I don't know how the fuck the dogs take so much damn hits. Pieces of shit. God damn. You stay back there. I got shit to collect. Thanks for the mushrooms, game. Can't see shit. Stay behind that thing. What the hell's down here? Can't fight dogs without shield, just can't? I know. Hey. Hey. Well, it was something. All right. Yeah, we did kind of bum rush past this spot because the uh, the dogs were so insanely aggressive. Oh, this looks like definite secret bait. Try jumping. We did do that. We did do that one. So, we want to go down the opposite side of the water wheel, huh? How the fuck do we do that? 
Oh, I'm gonna get sick. Oh, I'm gonna barf. Over here? Yeah. Bye. -bye. Right down. Uh oh. Uh oh. See crystal shits. Going way down. Oh, fuck. Ah! That slightly scared me. Cool. Had to be sure. Where the hell are we? We're just continually going down. Oh... Joy. Oh. Joy. I see that guy getting maimed to death. Is this a falling damage thing? Renders the wearer immune to fall damage. Wait a minute. Like, I can jump off a cliff, like a big cliff, and survive it? No fucking way. It doesn't stop you from the death falls. I was already under the assumption that falling damage didn't exist. Right? Like, I, for, to me, I, I fall a hell of a long way and I don't get any damage taken. Renders the wearer immune to fall damage, however, does not prevent falling to one's death. See, that's weird to me. Falling damage definitely exists? How funny, because I, I don't feel like... I don't feel like I ever take fall damage, at least me personally. I'm assuming I can't backstab this thing, so I'm just gonna give it a good old one, two... Uh oh. drops ever from this guy there's a real fine line between never taking fall damage and falling to your death a weird yeah i'm just gonna make a ton of noise now what about it
That doesn't seem like a crazy reward. Necessary item ahead, therefore jumping required ahead. Oh. The fuck? From the enemy, I backstabbed at the top. Ah, okay. Not not a placed item. It is a uh, a fallen. Damn, this is cool. Uh, an enemy that fell. That makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Well done. Lost ashes of war. Well, that's good. Those are limited in quantity. Be that it? That that be it? Be that all it is? Really? So, are you telling me that the the crazy Iron Maiden enemy acts like a snatcher in Bloodborne. They are snatcher-like. Huh. I don't know if I would ever ever have found that out. And I unfortunately don't know if there's anything I can do in this area now to circumvent that. Hmm. Interesting. I felt like there's another side to this whole thing as well. What the hell is this? Looks familiar but unfamiliar. This is where we first dropped off at? I can't remember. I see, bitch ass. Net soldier ashes, that's new. And a rune, okay. I did it. Interesting. I don't know if there's much more to be had here. Another uh, pathway that was technically secret. So we want to go back up. How was Babylon's fall? 
not as bad as I thought it was going to be. It's rough around the edges for sure. Um, but it's kind of fun. Get, you get past the presentation part, and the presentation is very rough on Babylon's Fall. But to boil the down the game, it is... It's like a, a looter near Automata with multiplayer. It's kind of what it is. I feel like there was a path we could have, another path we could have taken. Go down one more time. We took one jump because I preemptively missed another jump. This side. And that was where we just were. That's where that leads. That's where this leads, right? Yeah. Okay. We didn't miss anything else. Okay. This was just the other jump. Gotcha. That's good game design. It just lets you lets you know you can have accessed it both ways. All right. Um. So where's the next closest spot? I think the classroom. We can just teleport there. Uh, I'm gonna teleport here. I'm gonna see... Do we lose all of our... Uh, our runes? If we get killed by this thing? Should I be spending my runes? That's what I'm saying. No, we, we've done the boss in this area. We have. It's a full death. Oh, shit. So what do I got? Uh, 12, 163. Okay, well, let's go drop this into, uh, something. Maybe I can grab 8k out of souls? I just picked up a lot. Let's see what just two of these gives me and we'll find out. This is 4k, we should be good. Nice. up five of these. Oh, shit. Those were way more valuable. Oh, god damn. Dumb fuck. And I think we were getting life to 25 for now. I think so. All right. All right. Um... And then, before I drop all this money... Uh, really quickly, I'm gonna go back here. Uh, I'm gonna see if we can give it to the, the, the weird item to the twin stone chicks. Actually, do you have a usage for the book I found? No, don't. I go there. Oh, I gave another. Maybe this. I increased this quest line? No. No. There. Uh. Well, I'll treat you for that match. Lay out your own. I kind of want to buff some of the new stuff I got. Right? Not Oleg or anything, but these guys. Marionette Soldier Ashes. Or Avanti Soldier... A Avionette. Is that what it is? 67, 67, 54. I kind of want to buff these guys out and see what happens. Right? They're probably going to be fucking good. Got those guys to plus four. What's Avanti? Avionad Avanti. That's what it is. It's close enough. Shut up.
Am I out of uh, money now? I am. Okay, let's go back to Rhea Lucaria, the schoolhouse. And I'm going to go get abducted by some crazy, insane uh, nightmare creature. Wait it out. There it is. There it is. Should I just wait till it drops my ass? Right? Can I just like... Let it carry me down? Ooh. Thank you. That guy just fall. Yes, he did. Loop. Hey buddy, how's it going? What's up? How's it going? Ah! What? Where are we going someplace yet? Making this a real big pain in the ass, you understand that, right? There we go. This is really specific. Okay. Shit in the legend, thanks for the 51 months, dude. Cool. Sheesh, I don't even know which way to start. Uh, I guess it's this way. Fire indeed hot. That's so many goddamn bats. cave over there.
What? I'm in a fire cave. Bats don't give a shit about fire. I get it. I understand. Good luck. Shit. Ow, whoa. Yeah, this is a uh, this is going on for a long time. Good luck. See that ambushing shitter? Bloodborne enemy, huh? Shit. Huh. Well, we have come across something. Wait. God. Okay. Use your hands! My God. Oh my god. Alright, just don't die. Right? Just not die. Bob is thick, so that's good. Lava Thiak. Oh god. This is scary as fuck. Oh, loading. Cave ahead, stay calm. 
Oh, he scared the shit out of me. Oh. Okay. Alright. Okay. I'm fine with everything so far. Need a little bit more FP. I'm not gonna take any chances on whatever the hell this is. I'm gonna bust out the Oleg. If Oleg can be used. Um, let's also get a little weary here. Okay. Rune arc? I don't know. We're gonna find out. I don't have that much souls. I mean, I got 4,000. That's not bad. Heavy load? Heavy load! Shit. Oh. No wonder. My sword does not have a skill on it. I have the stamp because I switched it like a dumb bitch. All right. Like I need you to come out. What the fuck? Dude. I can't I couldn't even I couldn't even get an opportunity to summon shithead Oleg. I couldn't even get an opportunity. This time we're getting the grace. Man, we're getting that shit now.
Okay. Right. Okay. So these guys did not take the bleed damage, right? They just didn't have bleed damage. So I am going to attach to my big fat ass sword something else. Fire's not going to work because we're in a fire zone. Um, the ass slam. Repeating thrust, maybe? Uh, storm collar, storm stomp, determination, gravitas. I'm going to go with a uh, repeating thrust. Right? I'm gonna see how that works. Maybe lightning because they're metal? I don't have lightning shit. Though. Wait. I don't know if this is lightning. Sacred blade? I think this is some holy, holy horse shit. Anyway. I'll try a stabby stab. Oh. I can turn it into a, a magic. Oh. Oh. I can turn it into a cold sword. Try that. Let's try that. And it costs me nothing, and I can switch it back, no problem. Okay. Uh, priority number one is to get in there and, and fire off an Oleg. Those guys make the sound effects of the uh, the creepy little baby monsters in uh, Bloodborne. Oh, I can't see shit, Captain. Okay. Hit him with the OLED. What the fuck? Dude. Nice. Very nice. Dude, what in the sweet Jesus? Oh my fucking good god. god. Jesus, man. I don't have any time to heal. No! Fuck! So goddamn fast. Couldn't even get up in time. Oh my god damn. Dude. Fucking dude. This boss is tough.
Uh, even even o Oleg was able to hold it down for a while. But fuck, man. They're, they're always attacking. Well, I have to learn the moveset. But they're always fucking attacking. And those, uh, I had to learn how to dodge the crazy gunfire shots and shit. Good old OLED. I'd actually take a shield that has more poise. Um, let's get rid of this, by the way. Take a shield that has more, like, robustness to it, or whatever the hell. Because the guard boost on this is relatively small. Ugh. I don't know. Uh, now that I think about it, I don't know. Smash Oleg. Wow, what the fuck, man? Are you ever done? Like you're not doing your job, man. Getting split up here. Get him, OLED. What? No! Barely survived. Let's go. Oh, fucking Jesus Christ. Oh, what the hell was this thing? Oh, it's a pole arm. Dex strength pole arm. The goddamn candlestick. Cute. Goddamn candlestick. How much light does it give off? The real questions. Uh, here's where I'm at. I'll show you. I'll read the description in a second. I'm up here. I'm at the very north northwestern uh, tip of the map. Instrument of torture used on nobles behind the curtain at the Volcano Manor 
of Mount Gelmir. Its numerous spikes pierce the flesh, then singe the wounds with a flame. The smell of burnt blood induces despair in the victim, a candlestick conceived by a thorough mind. Sick. Mount Gelmir. Oh, we actually had a new zone? What the fuck? I see a sight of grace. Oh, hell yeah. Well, this has been an interesting ride. Get abducted by one of those shitheads and then get taken down here. I see something I need to kill. This is a big one. Ooh, okay. I think we already have that, uh, technically. I want to get out to this area. I want to see what what the the field is like. Some new shit. Atlas Plateau. Yo, damn! What is this castle? Where in the hell are we? Oh, please be your god. Oh! You guys have some decent health on you. Ow. That's right in my fucking head. We have a, uh... What's it called? One of the, uh, the boat dudes. That is really painful looking. The boat lord. Yeah, I'll put this on main. Uh... Bam. I, I probably- I really want to find another curved sword. Is that the falchion? Right? Falchion's fine for now. There you are, you piece of shit. What the fuck?! Shit out of here. Let's do it, bro leg.
Oh. Ow. Uh, Oleg's doing work somewhere. Not really helping me out, but... Oh, like you work on that guy. I'll take I'll take the archers and shit. My head. Bone Lord bitch. This Bone Lord bitch, as soon as I got on my horse. Wolf Raya, right thanks for the five gift subs. A sec chat. I think it'll make a shake really fast. Okay, what were we doing? <sighs> All right. Boat dude's got to die. Let's swap in the Oleg and let's get this guy. That's right behind me. Oh shit. Your friend. Oh my god, you stupid arrow shithead. Oh, your friend. Oh, like, take care of it. Take care of these guys. Oh my fucking god. Get the shit out of here. No more bone lords, please. Thanks, Oleg. You can go now. Tibia's summons. Cool. The big skeleton guy's the problem in that one. And bone shard. Oh, 
fuck. Ow. Still full of bone lords. I had to put an item in here. Come on. There it is. Well, that fight was definitely different, right? Once again, something that's like you're expecting it. You're expecting there to be a Mariner fight in a new area, but not like that. Like, holy shit. Suddenly it goes like way above and beyond what you were uh, expecting completely. Uh oh. Fuck out of here. Let's really take two. What'd you give me bandits curved sword. Huh. Oh joy. Will you let me in now? Pendrake Talisman plus one? I didn't even find the plus none. Greatly boosts non-physical damage negation. Greatly boosts? Holy crap. So anything that's like magic based that does damage, it's gonna be a great boost? Four eyes, thanks man. Seems valuable. Yeah, anything that's... not physical, so all types of magic, I'm assuming? Side of Grace. Uh, humongous Fall. For Dex or Intelligence, should I max the Int or Dex more? Uh, I'm, I'm the worst person to ask. I'm just throwing stats into whatever the fuck. If it looks like I know what I'm doing, doing a great job. Is there an actual dungeon, or is it talking about the one that we already went to? Oh shit. Get off the dang horse. Why can't I get off the horse? Oh good. Wyndham Catacombs. 
Dang, that's a lot of souls. Get a little bit more health. And now, uh... I wanted to check the other sword I got. Bandit's Curved Sword. It's better, right? It is actually better. It's dank looking, though. But it matches. Did I heal off killing a monster? Yes, that is the uh, the sword of my right hand. That's what that one does. It is the uh, Serpent God's Blood Curved Sword. What the shit did I just do? So, decoy ahead. Yeah, I see it. Spare. Uh, it's a combination of the carrion set and the uh, confessor's hood. Is the armor I'm using. It's nothing too specifically great, I just like the way it looks. Oh, this is lovely. Oh, shit. Thanks, you guys are making this significantly easier for me. To fucking murder you. Oh my god, damn, the damage. Holy shit. Holy shit, I need a shield on these guys. I do. These guys, you have to block all their crazy shit. Huh? Oh. <laughs> like, am I supposed to fall? Just some hidden upgrade items? Damn it. Thought it was actually crazy progress or something. Sit back there and have fun. Wow. Tracking. Assholes. Be wary of ambush? Yeah. Yeah. It's 
area isn't poisoned or anything, is it? Oh, upgrade items. Frostbite. Ow. Not worth fighting these guys. Not worth it. Not worth it. They do too much damage. And oh, aren't you impressive. Oh, aren't you impressive. Very impressive. I'm about to say, can I not backstab him because he's an asshole? One shotted me? It one shotted me? Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. I forgot. I forgot. Pain. Nothing but pain. Dude, I can't see shit, Captain. Ow. What the holy shit? Damn it. This fucking guy. Going in hard. Yeah, I should duplicate this ash. Oh, how does that feel, man? And then the blood buildup? Oh, how'd that feel? No drop. No goddamn drop. This guy's got yellow eyes, I gotta kill him.
Might have been the one two KO. Sure, why not? Lightning Scorpion Charm. Raises lightning attack, but lowers damage negation. Oh, shit. I need to find some lightning spells, right? Some, like... Some, like, lightning bolts and shit? I need to find some of that stuff. I'm willing to take the damage negation thing. What? Oh my god, what the fuck is... No, my god damn. Oh, piece of shit. The sword hitting the wall is the- Oh my dude, oh, there's another guy right there? Okay. Okay. Alright. All right. All right. See if this dude repops. This big guy. <clears throat> Christ Almighty. No fucking way. Did I just miss a backstab? New shit? Fucker. You mother Jesus Christ! Always one more attack, right? Always has to be just one more attack. My turn, my turn, my turn, my turn, my turn. My turn, my turn. Ugh.
I dodge one, I get hit by the other, no matter what. I can't believe that almost hit me. You stay down there. What the fuck? Did you just climb back up? This is poor shit. Dude, fucking dodge! Dodge! My god. All good. Dude, the hit completely guard crushes the holy goddamn dickens out of me. It doesn't mean that these guys barely give any souls either. The only problem about this weapon, its counterattack sucks. Super narrow. Okay. I feel like I'm missing something here. I think I'm missing anything here. Might just return back to the site of grace. I think the, uh... Oh, I can't. Oh, good. Is a room underneath the moving floor? No way. So there is. Oh yeah, it's what's on the opposite side. Up the 
fucking torque. Pull the goddamn lever! Pull it! You got me a fucking game! This fucking game! <sighs> Didn't get the item. I gotta go back. Two fucking crabs. Knowledge is everything in these games. Knowledge is everything. Knowing what's ahead is everything. Through the wall. Uh, okay. Impressive range. Kiss my ass, crabs. <clears throat> this dude fucking booking it for me? you guys <clears throat> we did it Conquest of this damn dungeon. <clears throat> Absolute nightmare hellscape dungeon. Somebody died. I could probably level up now, funny enough. No, the boss is there. No, the boss is definitely there. The dungeon is done. Almost there. Start getting decks up. I rested, yeah. Dog ahead. Uh oh.
Uh oh, you have a lightning attacks. Getting your ass beat. Getting my ass beat. Please. Anything? Not a great amount. Shit. There we go. Thank God Oleg got messed up. Dude got absolutely screwed up. Gloveward Picker's Bell Bearing? <gasps> oh, another bell bearing. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, the key. Uh, let's go back to... Now let's go out here really fast, see if I can find a way to... Oops. See if I can find a way to... Get out of this place. <clears throat> right? They seemingly can't get anywhere... Down. Funny enough. Might have to go down and around. This is gonna kill me. Almost. And talisman jump off? I don't know. About to find out. He chose poorly. Where's your answer, chat? Over there might work. Said that's safe, huh? That's safe, huh? Looks safe. It appears to be safe, they said. Cat ring, huh? Ring I have on? Double jump, huh? Some really good suggestions here, chat. Fantastic suggestions. I will say. I'm very impressed by all the advice. That's wrong. Welcome back. Find it very impressive.
I think the horse survives the same amount of falling you do, right? Oh. Oh. There's a, uh... There's a pathway over here. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Nice. Okay. Pathway literally appeared out of nowhere. Here a golden shitter. I don't see a golden shitter. Seems crazy. It's got to be up and above. Sounds like it's in the wall. It's got to be up above. Lots of noise. <clears throat> well, the jig is up. What? Third one? Oh my god. Damn, bad day for you. Nice. Okay, music's over. Musical cues will let you know. <clears throat> Trolls 
golden sword? Just a standard colossal sword. <laughs> Whack something with this. There it is. that on, see how it goes. Fat rolling like a bitch. Twenty eight damage. I don't like it. Oh, sir, I don't like it. Am I caught in mid? That sucks. I like that how he also bonked his head on the wall. Did you see that? Oh, hi, you're over here now. Prefer to not be here. Dude, I'm getting fucking, fucking hammered. Wow, that is some impressive range. Let's just have things, everything whiff. I don't fucking understand it. Been a rough day. This dude's not stuck back here. You know what I'm gonna do? Take advantage of it.
Give me that. Wait, was there another item in here? Was. See how you like it. Really? Oh, they're. Oh, I thought it was like a uh, like an item item we could use. It wasn't. I'm waiting for you to charge me. Good night. Oh. Oh, hello. You got back up to die? Very nice of you. Flip that goddamn horse. Yeah, flip that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping he'd be blind. Cheeky asshole. No, your friend needs to your friend needs to wait. Give me something good. Nice. Erd tree surcoat. Interesting. So these guys are like hailing to the Erd tree? I guess because it is growing out of their goddamn city. Oh, one more encampment all the way to the... Actually, is that the one with the pumpkin head? I don't know. Yeah, I think it was. It was. Um, okay, that encampment is done. Essentially pillaged all of it, I think. Map? Oh, that must be, um, uh, Marquis, Marguerite. What's her name? Azanza Zarel. Ow. Horseback comes with like an inherent challenge. Uh, you're, you're actually weaker on horseback because you can get knocked down really fast. Then sometimes just fighting on horseback ends up going real well. Is this dude just sitting over here with a giant bow? Trying to snipe me? Fuck. As I was explaining. I have an arrow in my arm. Only from Champion Dickhead up here. Dude, give me that bow. Give it to me. Very nice delay attack. There we 
go. Oh, bang. Well, give it to me. Great arrows, damn it. Uh, there's something weird and glowy over there. Yo, there's something weird and glowy over here. Golden order itself, unwavering. Stretch to the sky. Put this weary world to rights. Hmm. Would be nice to have a map. Right? Hey, and I'm looking right at one, it looks like. Straight ahead. Sorry. Oh, you got lucky. See you, Muffin. Atlas Plateau. Ah. Uh, Jeez. So what is that, like a caravan? Right here. There's a whole bunch of stuff up here. Yeah, map refuses to stop. Right, somebody somebody didn't tell the devs that the game should probably not be this big. Maybe you could save it for the sequel? Oh hi guys. Sorry. Uh, that looks fancy. Let's take the road. Damn, that guy died funny. Oops. Oh, it's one of you. This game could possibly get game of the year this year? Uh, no. I think it's gonna get game of the year this year and the year after. And they'll go back to last year and they'll give it to game of the year last year as well. To the east. Ruins of gold. To the west. The serpent sacrilege. Wherever the path leads. So shall you follow wherever the path leads. Only more sorrow. Tis a curse. A curse. The curse of Queen Marika. <laughs> This guy got killed.
See that tumbleweed? Looked ominous. I thought I heard a violin. I thought it was the music. You might, I, terribly sorry. Are you here as a customer? What do you have? Uh, note unseen assassins, imp shades. Crossed tree great shield, 16 weight. Tree surcoat, cool. Should buy that. Oh, I must apologize. I, 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 I'm afraid I've very little to offer. So cool. So goddamn cool. See a ten symbol. Doubles. <laughs> These are all different. Grab this. See what it looks like. It's okay. Right? It's all right. Kind of basic, you know? It actually isn't as good in a lot of ways. Welcome back to the stage of history. Good to have. I don't know if we'll ever come across it. I think I saw another side of grace down here. Found any new whips? Uh, no. No new whips yet. I can make this, right? <sighs> Got nervous. Won't lie. Got nervous. That's what I want to check out. That's an ugly fucking dog.
Bully! I'm like, nah. Give me that damn sacred tear. Nah, not this time. Don't let those guys get started. Or else you end up like this dude. Didn't expect weak foe. Pretty. <laughs> Whoa, that's a big drop. <laughs> There's some crazy looking cathedral over here. Sorry, pooch. The bark, 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 and then you bite, bite, bite. Um, fuck. Absolutely disgusting. Well, whatever this is. Death blight. Oh my god. gotta go kill that thing oh man oh we gotta go back and kill whatever the hell that thing was so you just die yeah apparently yo proof nandies thank you for the uh professor nandies thanks for the prime you just die fuck off and die that's probably death this one probably not. I like it how there's like a ton of things that are interrupting your fall, but it still counts it as a fall. And the further it goes, the more you, the quicker you die. Damn it, dude. Fuck. Yeah, absolute zero fall negation at any point. Yes, and a double jump doesn't stop it. It's super wonky. Welcome back to the stage of history. Maxter, unlikely Yusha, appreciate it, guys. That's not the right way to go.
Well, luckily that actually hurt him. The music is still going. There is a threat. Uh oh, we're getting frame drops in this area. Uh, let me do this. Better. Okay. Yo, Dean Punch Duck. Thank you. Very much. Here's the second one. You assholes don't go away? Oh, only if I touch the phantom. Uh, jeez, look at this place. Look at the Atmo. Let's look at this map I got. <sighs> this is right at the bottom. Right? So, a couple more towards the top. North. Huh? Over here? No, it's closer to Mirage Rise. Where the heck is it? Seems weird. It's like up in the corner, okay. Like up here in the corner. Either like right over here or No, maybe up here. Sleeping dog, sorry. Looking at this thing backwards. Thank you. 
That was the one I already got. Um, weird. Welcome back to the stage of history. Weird. Yeah. Should be over there in, like, the left-hand area. You know? It should be, like, up over here. Can't be reading it wrong. It's impossible. Actually, is impossible. Pathway leads down. Oh, is it down? Oh, it's down here. Oh. He says, shit, you're reading it wrong, chat. Oh my god, I'm not ready for that. a lot of crazy grunting shit. Time to keep moving. What the fuck? Down here somewhere. Oh, I see. Ready time for slug. God. Man. Really expecting I was going to make that jump. Damn things down here somewhere. Oh, sight of grace. That helps. Is it on the right side? The corner? Sorta? Over here ish? We gotta go down more. Getting close. Here. Do. Back up we go. Getting close. Duh, okay. Of course. Wouldn't be a Souls game.
What? what? Oh, shit. Uh, this thing is now here. Yeah, it spawned a whole tower. Well, this is probably going to be a memory, uh, memory stone. Memory stone. Slumbering egg. Unseen blade and unseen form. What? That's different. Int. Makes right hand armament completely invisible. Makes caster semi invisible. Okay. Invisible sword. Let's see if we can get all these big assholes away from this item. Where'd it go? Oh, I think he ran away. Shit. One second. Gotta get this dude to pop back up. He's gonna drop like an Ash of War or something crazy. Give me a hot bag of nothing. My God. Let's just let that go down a little bit. Bad throw. Uh, 
Fuck. Okay. I like it how these guys are refilling all my uh, my blue Estus as I'm as I'm hitting them. It's like it's almost like the game. This is how it wants you to engage these creatures, you know. Here's the reward for figuring that out. Okay. There's either. A bird tree of some kind. You gain flasks for killing groups of enemies. Uh, not all the time. Sometimes for individual enemies. And those enemies, they refill your flasks every single time you kill one of them. My flasks were always at two. And I had drank, like, several times. Let's try it right here. Far am I into the game? I have no idea. Punch. Drink up. Nice kick. I'll shut the hell up. Guess he didn't refill it. What the fuck? So we didn't go in here yet, whatever the fuck this thing is. Oh, this is... Am I going the wrong way? Jesus Christ. I got completely turned around. Quite a hilarious how turned around I got. I gave me some of the good shit. I love it that you can do all this magic stuff while on horseback. I think it's very neat. That's a big boy. Must have taken them forever to figure this shit out, right? All the mechanical aspects of this, how it all just feels right and works. Taking them forever to figure that shit out. The fact that, like, the horseback combat, all that kind of stuff, you using all these weapons on horseback doesn't feel like absolute dog shit. Probably took them forever. Much less to get it to function in an online, I'm sorry, in a big-ass environment like this. Alright, there we go. Guy dropped a bunch of dropped a bunch of golden shit.
Hmm. Probably has something in it, right? Fuck. Oh god. All right, there's probably an item in here. I'm going to say there is. Crap. Oh, I was wrong. Felt so right, though. Dudes are everywhere. Oh my fucking god. You mess up once. You, you screw up once. It's like doing so good. Mess up once, and it's just, you're dead. Immediately dead. Okay. You've killed enough of these guys to be satisfied. What are these dudes? What are these dudes? Where am I? New dudes. Guardian Garb? Probably should get out of range. Guardian Garb. Ooh, fancy. Fancy. Very Lord of the Rings ish, right? Okay, let's go down to where this bird tree is. How's it here? Ass slam again. I already have that one. Dude, this guy is. Huge! Oh shit, you want me dead. Was a boss fight. God, look at the size of this fucking thing. Worm face. I think I know what to expect here. Don't get in front of it. Whatever you do, don't get in front of it. Oh my fucking god. Don't get in front of it. Just don't. Do not get in front of it. Uh... I need to get a bleed going on real, real quick.
Oh, you big bitch. Oh, damn, that was close. You're killing your friends. Oh! Oh! No hugs, please. No hugs, please. Nice throw. No hugs, please! Hug the tree. Why am I missing everything? What the fuck is going on? Crimson Spill Crystal Tear Speckled Hard Tear Crimson Spill Crystal Tear Whoa, fuck. What? You piece of shit. Get the hell out of here. Was looking at that. Temporarily boosts max HP. And what was the other one? Heal status. Boost resistance and heal status. Huh, okay. I hear a golden guy. Oh, these things. One. What are you guys all looking at? Huh? Nothing, just- we're just chilling? We're just chilling? Town meeting. Um, God, so much stuff to investigate and look through. Give me one second, chat. I'll be right back. Oi, ay, 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 ay. Um. One of these down here. I don't think there was anything else inside this place, right? Except this big dude. Slightly angry. While you were gone, we fended off three world bosses. Thanks, chat. Whoa.
Yeah, I notice you can't turn off your lantern when you're on your horse. That's a bug, right? That's actually a bug. Right, how's it going? Walk in. Holy shit! Scared the dumb fuck out of me. Are all you grannies that pissed? They're ready to defend. Shit. Oh my god, I'm low on health. Now I'm just making a mess. Getting better at this aiming thing. Joe Montana did it right over her head at the start though. Music's over. Okay. It's been an uneven platform. Why is it always regret? Why? Poison grease. Dang, it's it to this little town? Oh, that was a neat little town. Wow. There's these crazy old ladies in this windmill town? Neat. I'm gonna go get this bug over here because he probably has something insanely good. Protection of the Erd Tree. Increases affinity damage negation for self and allies. 35 faith. Damn, so it's a defense buff. Thirty-five faith. Allies is in like, you know, co-op. Stuff like that. Potentially, you know, even summoned allies. I suppose. Guys defending the opposite way? So what the hell is all this over here? Damn, this place is awesome. 
these little villages up here, these little windmill villages, because it's on the cliff side. So cool. Oh, that is a lot. <laughs> oh shit. Oh the skeleton guys! Holy fucking what the hell? All the skeleton guys came back to life too with a sound of music. I need to get back up there ASAP. 100%. We have a new goal. Take out the dancing village. This game's amazing, dude. This game is amazing. How much weird, wacky shit can we just constantly throw at the player? In every which way, in every which direction. I'm coming in here with a fervor and a fury now. Interrupting this dance party. They exploded? They exploded. This was interesting. What the hell? What did I just come across? Wind swords? Oh shit, nipples. Oh shit, nipples.
Oh my god. They went ham. Wow, dude. Wow, and and I just got what? Oh, dude. Oh, dude, bro. Dude, bro. What, dude, bro? Very dress-like, right? Not much against physical, right? But... Very ladylike. I'm dainty. Not bad. I actually think it fits with this even better. Welcome back to the stage of history. Legit found a dress. Uh, we are at the absolute top of the map to ya. Top of the map to ya, chat. We're sitting here looking at right around here. There's an east windmill pasture. And that's where you can find all this uh, crazy sorcery gear and another insane twin blade. Twinned knight swords. That's where this thing is. Does the hood have any passives? That's a good question. Uh, worn by royalty increases mind. Wow! Such cloaks were gifted to those who departed on missions, but fairway lands. Um, it gives one mind point per and increases mind. Wow. Does it give a lot of focus as well? 29 focus, wow. Yeah, hey, you weren't kidding. Twenty-five focus on the gloves. What does focus actually do? Do we know? Because its physical stuff is not good. Its immunity is crazy good. But the focus and vitality part of it is huge. Madness and sleep resist? Interesting. I can press start to see the explanation. I see, I see. Rather, I'd rather communicate with the chat. Cold octopus, what? He passes for the twin blades. Uh, another great question. Biases of a chivalric way can be wielded with a single hand, but its true strength is unlocked with dual-handed spinning attacks. Nothing crazy. No. Nothing crazy. Damn, look at me now. Fuck. Jeez, look at this area. Good lord. Seek giant. Huh? I've actually needed to kill some birds. Sorry. Sorry. 
There's a whole big ass castle over here. And a huge bridge. Bridge. This zone is awesome. Truly awesome. I've loved all the surprises that we've come into once we entered this area. It's constantly something different. You guys got Scarlet Rod on you? Make sure I, I dual wield it. And slash. How ham will they go with DLC? I don't know. You got to assume. All Souls games have DLC, right? Even Sekiro took a while to get its DLC, but it got it. Are these butterflies collectible? Nascent butterflies. I think I already have them. If it didn't give me the memo. What the fuck? Oh my god. Dude. Wow. Try the spinning slash while you have both twin blades in hand. Uh, it doesn't do anything. It immediately goes to the other one. Yeah, you can add bleed to the twin blades. Probably make it real, real good. It's a fat ass rat, dude. I'm about to die to a rat. Fucking shit. About to die to a fat ass rat. This little bitch. Good lord. Chunkiest friggin' rat I've ever seen. These are definitely not leveled up, right? Definitely not. Um, and they scale the same, about the same with strength and dex. In fact, the twin knight swords is a better strength scale. Funny enough, it seems like dex weapons to me. Is there an actual story path you can follow? Uh, technically, yes. Technically, yeah, the game gives you, like, <gasps> signs, waypoints, and directions as far as where to go. But nobody goes that way. As they should. Did I just get a fucking rune arc from a rat? from a rat? Like a bis basic bitch-ass rat? That's very Dark souls -y, right? Right, couldn't- couldn't rats drop, like, humanity or something like that in- wasn't there, like, a really small chance that they can drop something crazy good? Hey, you know what? I'm sick of your shit.
What the hell? Giant rat ashes. Oh, sick. Now I can get my own giant rat. I'm thrilled. Bullshit. Bitch, you're gonna make me try this? You serious? I didn't think so. What an asshole. I swear to God, 90% of the memos in this game are people just trolling you. Is that it for the West Windmill? Really nothing else up here? Whoa, holy shit. Not a huge castle, right? But... Definitely a castle. That is a keep. <laughs> Sir, that is a keep. Behold, research. Please get the lock off. Please. Don't target anymore. Never target again. Fucking bug. Never lock on ever again. Challenger, thank you. Can I make this thing zoom in anymore? That is a different Erd tree. Sun, bro. Probably not a good idea to fall down there. I believe that's the earth tree we fought the big crazy dude at over there. Now, chat, don't get mad at me. Up. Missed a major quest? A major quest? Worst ending? From 
<laughs> what? Rip major quest? What? I don't believe you. I don't believe you. Chat, the, uh, but, right? If you're a faith build, it's a big loss? Bullshit. Bull, bullshit. There's no fucking way. There's no fucking way. Everything, you missed a great sword. You missed a great uh, faith thing. You missed the faith build, right? Yeah, there's actually a way to undo NPC killing. There is, there is a thing for it. But seriously? That dude was from the opening major NPC? Really? Welcome back to the stage of history. He was in the intro? Time to respect to int. Seriously? I thought the bitch was a statue. Thanks for the bits, King Wolf. We'll bring him back to life if need be. That's not hard. What the hell just rolled out of here? Is that a dog? Oh, it was a goat. I'm like, yo, what? I fucking hate these dogs. <whistles> these windmills are all have interesting stuff so far. Kind of curious. How many souls is this guy gonna give me? He has yellow eyes. 690? Yikes. These things aren't doing a lot of damage, unfortunately. Rare. This dude's carrying Royal fruit.
Meat dumpling. Ugh. Ugh. How's it going? What's with all the... Dog? Try horse. Jesus. Well, this, the, the twin blades I'm using are literally not leveled up at all. There's no increase anything. I'm just using them to, like, give them a shot and try them out. This was the first area, yeah. Another one. In fact, let's uh, switch it up. Curve swords all the way down here? No. Oh my god, sight of grace, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Finally found one. <laughs> Level 62. I seek, I or I hear a festive melody. No, no, don't skin me. My hide is filthy, I swear. Oh, Jesus, that went south very fast. seem very happy. Dope. I gotta check the other houses. Nobody saw that or heard about it.
It's a jolly bunch. Nor me. Just loot in the place, ignore me. All right, nothing to see here. Christ. Fucking dogs. Oh my god. Fucking dogs. These dogs specifically. Please go off a cliff. Ow. Friggin' dogs, man. It's always the dogs, I swear. I've come at my most close calls due to dogs. This thing has its face up my ass. Be something better than just a rune, please. Not bad. Got what I asked for. Yeah, I saw the Marika statue. I'm a little... ...worried. Fuck. Dude. Gold Firefly, huh? Okay. Getting dark up here. Getting spooky. Oh, death. This one seems important. God skin apostle? I'll take the mark of stake. Yeah. Uh. Whoa. All right. I thought it was just a big version. The chicks. It's a really big version.
That's not exactly what I wanted. Shit. Ow. Oleg, let's do this shit. You and me, brother. I'm gonna get my stuff back. So cool. Oh, my God, damn. Oh my god damn. This dude's a beefcake. Holy shit. Okay. Dude's got some health on him. Yeah, I'm not I'm not activating bleed very much on uh either one of these weapons. So we're gonna have to go with the old faithful. We can run up a sneak attack. Right? Welcome back to the stage of history. Just go very quietly go over here and grab my shit. And I'm gonna charge R2 the holy dick shit. My god damn. That didn't work. That did not work. Thought maybe a charged R2 to the back might actually do something. Did not do something. Okay. Fair enough. Hot. Uh oh, Oleg got fucking murdered. That damage, though. Fuck. Got the bleed. Taking any goddamn chances. Oh, Jesus, my horse. Oh, Jesus, my horse.
Oh. Good God. Let's go. <sighs> the God Skin Peeler and the Scoring Black Flame. Hell yeah. The God Skin Peeler? Please be a twin blade. Oh my God. Dex 22 Twin Blade. What does it do? Unique twin blade wielded by Godskin Apostles, characterized by its disturbing design. One end feathers a sickle for slicing, while the other boasts a winding, winding spike for boring into flesh. Much skill is required to wield this weapon due to its a asymmetric nature. Spin armament overhead and then plunge into the ground to summon a raging vortex of black flame. Right, I understand. Wow. Pretty sick. Uh, foreskin peeler? Yes. The answer is yes. I don't have enough decks to use it, but we're on the way, right? We are on the way. 20 decks, and I need 22. It's, it's like suddenly I'm finding a whole bunch of weapons that I really want to use, you know? Which, um... Oh, that gave me a shit ton. On the way. Yeah, let's try this uh, black flame thing. Let me sign it. Oh, I can't use that because I don't have a... Uh, in intelligence thing, right? That's why that wasn't working. I was like, where the hell is this? 28 fucking faith? 28 faith. Man. Holy moly. Holy moly. Guacamole. Uh. That's far away. From being used. Well, that was a fun adventure, right? Came up here and fought the windmill, uh, the women of the windmill. Jeez, dude. Super fun. there's anything else I'm missing out here. That's a good idea. We have seven of these. 
Oh man, that feels good. That wasn't even buffed up, right? Pretty cool. Yeah, the poise damage is kind of nuts. It does cost a lot of FP, though, but, you know. I think that's fine. Jeez, is that cool looking. Yeah, this is the dentist pick. Weapon is un unleveled. Yeah, we just we just grabbed it. See if we can actually try the other magic. No, not yet. 28 faith. And, uh... I don't know what we're at. This rune arc. Twenty-five. Oh, man. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, let's head back to the round table. We haven't been back there in a while. Let's see what has changed. That's not the right place. <laughs> I still gotta keep scrolling. Shit, I need regular bitch ass smithing stones. Fuck, man. Knew this would be a problem. Run out of these eventually. Regular smithing stones. Unfortunate. Oh, 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 oh. Wait. It's in another hallway. Oh my god, this door is open. What? Cool. Huh? 
Oh. Something changed. I can buy Grave Glove Wart now, so that's an upgrade for the summons. Right? Okay. Okay. Any more bell bearings? Oh. Have you ever felt the curse? With your whole being, the pox upon life itself, feared and despised by all. The reviled blessing. <laughs> Apparently not. You are but a lamb. A stranger to defilement, ignorant of your own ignorance. You no longer interest me. I've been long without peace. Don't spoil my quietude. I asked you not to do Be thankful of the holds it is all that keeps your death and defilement at bay. I asked you not to be thankful hmm. it is all that keeps Interesting. Wonder where that. Did he just move in? That's a good question, right? What? I'm off in search of a noble scholar known as the Gold Mask to beg his instruction. We may not meet again for some time. If there's any incantations you wish to learn, now's the moment. Welcome back to the stage of history. I don't want to talk about it. I don't... I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. There's a slight problem. He was very brittle. Like... Extremely brittle. Like, super brittle. You know? You ever seen something so brittle, like even if some wind came along? They would just knock him over? That's what it was like, man. There was just no way May the golden to know. Shine through you. I could have breathed in the wrong direction and he just turned into, like, dust. Yeah, I practically sneezed. Right? Further study of I, I practically sneezed, and he, uh... Just blew into the wind. Wafted like foul air. Suddenly, he was gone. Crazy. Damn it, I need three. Uh, I think I've already got that. Negates fire. Yeah, I think I already got that. I think I already got a cure poison. May the golden order shine through. Thanks, man. Sorry about your friend.
Maybe if I run over to the turtle real fast, like, right? Maybe if I head over to this big old turtle real quick, we can just, you know, pretend this never happened. We can just pretend that I never pressed R1 close to the extremely brittle, ashy man. I don't need absolution, apparently. I'm willing to atone for my sins. But apparently I don't need absolution. According to the game. Is it that unforgivable? Really? It is impossible to atone for what you've done? Is that what we're saying? Oh, what very well. Let heresy is not nature. All things can... Oh, it was sorcery. Of course it was sorcery. Damn, star shower? Look at all this crazy shit. Okay. Do I really want to know? Yes. If... If it means that... Right? D yes. Is there any way to bring the guy back that I definitely didn't intentionally R1? Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. Chat may have overreacted a little bit. He's fine. Okay. He's kill him again. <laughs> I did not kill him. It was a gust of wind that pushed my weapon in his general direction. It tapped him and he turned like a Jedi turned to an ethereal dust. And oh shit. Caravan. Motherfucker. You mother bitch. Mother bitch. Oh, 
I don't think they give a shit. Uh oh, I have the wrong weapon. Nice. What the fuck? Oh! They don't care about my fancy spin. They don't care about my, uh, my goofy grin. They don't care about my horse. They don't care, of course. Okay. I'm getting whatever's in that caravan. No questions asked. We're gonna get it. Unless I die right here to this fall. Oh, Jesus. Yo, thank you, Striking Simplicity. I appreciate it, man. I didn't even make it look this sharp. Uh, a lot of trial and error. Streaming quality is a lot of trial and error. I need to make sure I'm two-handing. Okay, here we go. I was just about to say, this bitch just made me lose my rune arc. And didn't they? These big assholes just made me lose my rune arc. Fucking giant pumpkin head. Get rid of these guys. pretty. Fucking shit. Trying to get back to your caravan, huh? Wonder what that's like. Smithing stone. Normal ass smithing stone, which is literally what I need. Getting used to enemies. Holy shit. Hey, man.
my damn souls. Look at that stuff. Okay, uh, almost in the clear. This is bad, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Got the guy behind him, that's funny. Okay. Leyendel, uh, Leyendel Soldier Gauntlets. And there is a lot of you fucking guys. Did you know that? You know how many of these guys there are? Really? Does this seem like a good idea? Did that seem like a good idea? Maybe at one point it was. Damn, double bleed. Okay, let's uh stop this gravy train over here. A big stomp. Okay. Stomp's hurt. Stomp's hurt. I like you. Jesus Christ, these guys stomp so fast. Now that one is down, will you let me get the loot? Well, thank you. Great stars. Yo, what is that? A mace? It's a warhammer? Dex strength warhammer? Jesus Christ. Go test it out. Oh, God damn. Oh, my fucking God. The bleed damage. Nice solid whiffs. Solid whiffs all around. Big oof. Oh, Jesus Christ. Good lord. So it's got to ca yeah, causes blood loss buildup. Landing attacks slightly restores HP. You get HP on 
on hitting opponents. What? Let's see how much. I have a little bit of life missing right now. I need some random jack holes to hit. How about this goat? Oh, you better come back here. This is a goat. Okay, it's very minor, right? It is insanely minor. Not a lot. Oh. No treasure chest ahead. We do have the turtle shield. Yeah. It's okay, right? It's something. It's definitely something. You guys are so lucky. You understand this? It's going up a bit. Like a bit. Really, dude? So we're on this path to wherever the hell this is. Oh, jeez. <sighs> yeah, it doesn't do great with a slow weapon. It would be it would be nice if it was on like a dagger or something. If it was on a knife or even a twin blade. Oh, there's this place. Shit. Shit. Oh my god, chat. You know what I realized we didn't do? We never went back to the boss. We never went back to that boss fight. We got so distracted. So horribly distracted. We gotta go do that. We have to. That's the last thing we're doing tonight, and we're calling it. We're calling it. We're calling it. It has been so long that we all forgot. I've been streaming for nine hours? Dude, what the hell? What in the hell? Alright. Oh, uh, we got- we got Big Boy Murphy, whatever the heck his name is. We got Oleg, ready to go. I'm a degen streamer again because of this game. Alright, Oleg, let's just get this done. Whatever it is. You and me, Oleg. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Holy shit! Run, Oleg, run! Ow.
Oh shit, thank God for the magic. Wow, that did not do enough at all. There's the bleed. Dude, what the shit? It like peering out and like, hey, how is it going guys? Like popping out from behind the, the I'm like, so where's the boss? Where's the, what the fuck is, what the fuck is that? Uh, cool. What kind of big buff sword did we get out of it? Uh, it's a and it's a curved great sword. Damn, magma worms scale sword, curved great sword wielded by the magma worms. The shape resembles a dragon's jaw and is covered in hard scales. This is a straight up monster hunter weapon. Um, it is said these lands bound dragons were once humans. Human heroes who partook in dragon communion, a grave transgression for which they were cursed to crawl the earth upon their bellies, shadows of their former selves. Oh. Oh, if you take part in dragon communion, you become an unrespectable dragon. You become a belly crawling piece of shit dragon. So that's what that guy was. Grab the scale sword with both hands as a worm would hold it in its mouth and leap forward, smashing it to the ground and urging a blast of magma. If I had the FP. Neat. Hey, let's let's duel. Hold on a second. We got two of these now. Double curved swords, right? Interesting. That's what I said. It's like literally a monster hunter weapon. Oh, we are cranking faith, right? Oh no, we are cranking dex. Let's get dex at least to 20. Cool boss. Level of mine, I think we're 60 something. Guess I don't need that. Oh, so we've arrived at the Atlas Plateau a different way. Right? Sheesh. Wow. This place looks like it's going to be a treasure heaven. Treasure heaven? Because aren't these the, uh... 
The big carts that are pulled along that have chests in them and stuff? It's all the caravans, yeah. Cool. Cool. Oh. One last thing. How did I level so fast? I don't feel like I've been leveling that fast. Right? 64? I don't know if I've been leveling that quick. Uh... One last thing I really want to do... Before we... Partake in communion chat... Is... Go over here. Shit. Feed me more. Yes. Bestial vitality. I'm getting rewards out of this. Uh, heals HP over a period of time. Oh, that sounds awesome. That sounds fantastic. Let me have that. HP regen spell. That sounds better than urgent heal to me. Let's go get smacked. I'm heavy, I'm heavy, I'm heavy, I'm heavy. Okay. Now, see how good this is. How much does it actually heal? It's like a tick every three seconds. It's a bit slow, right? I'm just trying to see how much life it'll actually give you um, over time. Like how long does it actually last? Does it scale with faith? It's lasting a long time. I don't even know if there's a way to see what it scales off of. Right? Is there a, uh... It is a faith spell. Right? Having gained intelligence, the beast must have fell. Hello, word. Gained HP over time. Faith 12. Not terrible. It's really not a terrible healing spell. This is one of those you just set it and forget it type things. Right? It's still going. It's still going. Not really handy. I mean, no, it's not really handy for boss fights, right? This is more like traversal and you just set it and forget it. I mean, it's not bad for boss fights. But it heals like... This is giving me almost an entire bar. I like it. Right? No, I like it. The, the idea is that it's just a passive. Just set it and forget it. It'd stack... I mean, I'm sure it would stack with the lifesteal hammer. I'm sure. Yeah, that's decent, right? That's pretty good. That's not bad. That's definitely worth keeping on here.
It's big heal. And that's getting rid of like poison or any or rot or anything like that. Um That's pretty good. Yeah, this doesn't have, unfortunately, anything crazy to it. Doesn't regain FP or anything like that. Let's see if I can upgrade my God Skin Peeler before we, uh, peace out for the night. Tried dual wielding shields? Not exactly. I don't remember which one this is eventually. Well, I took you for dead, no matter it's out your own. Oh man. Need regular smithing stones for this shit?